Other developments now in a story Target 12 first brought you last night. The head of the Rhode Island House Republicans is demanding that all documents from a state house office under scrutiny are preserved. The letter was just sent to a top aide of Speaker Nicholas Mattiello and comes after Target 12 brought you this video last night. It shows state police looking into a tip that documents were improperly removed from that office. But a House spokesperson says the space was cleared out because of a mold problem. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here with the latest. The Department of Administration, which manages state buildings, confirms they were contacted by the state police this morning, but declined to comment further. Carpets being torn up. Filing cabinets moved into the hall. The basement office of the Joint Committee on Legislative Services, or JCLS, in shambles. And they discovered it was a steam pipe that had burst and causing um, quite a bit of damage. House spokesperson Larry Berman says they discovered the leak which caused mold last week, but the emergency renovation drew an unusual amount of attention because of where it happened. JCLS, the General Assembly's administrative arm, controlled by House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. That office has been in the news after convention center leaders asked the state police to investigate if Mattiello used it to target them with an audit as retaliation over a personnel investigation there involving his friend, James Demers. All of their files, Tim, all of the, they, they were kept. Everything was moved next door. A lot of them are in boxes outside the hallway. Target 12 was there Monday night as state police, acting on a tip that documents might be getting tossed, responded to the state house. But Berman says the timing is just coincidence and no documents were destroyed during the mitigation process. They're free to, to look in the dumpster and I think they already have, but they, they can see that it was, it was, ju it was just material that uh, is related to the, the structural damage of the room. The state police declined to comment, but our video showed the detective who responded last night left empty handed. Their presence at the state house, however, shows there is an active investigation. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.